Hey guys, welcome to Horror and Me. I'm your host, Darren Mitchell. And on today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the September 2017 Fright Crate. Uh, this just arrived to me on the porch, so I'm going to crack right into this. And we'll see what we got this month. Uh, as always, I will read the quotes on the sides of the box. Uh, the first one says, The strongest human emotion is fear. It's a John Carpenter quote. And on the other side, it says... Be yourself, avoid self-censorship, love your failures. It's a Clive Barker quote. Uh, and then at the end of the video, if you guys are interested in subscribing, this is all the information for Fright Crate. Just go to www.frightcrate.net. Uh, the October box is already sold out, but I know the November one will be coming uh, available soon. So look out for that. So let's just get right into this and see what's in here. Uh sides all right put my knife away let's see what we got all right so we got some pack on top and set the uh, box down so first thing we got is the shirt so let's take a look at the shirt oh that's awesome I was trying to remember the themes uh, but now I'm remembering 13 ghosts was one of the themes so this is a badass shirt I have like nothing from uh, 13 Ghosts, so this is a welcomed addition. Look at that. I love the colors on that. Nice and vibrant. Really, really awesome shirt. This, the softness of the shirts is getting uh, better too, I'm noticing with each shirt that's coming out. The quality of the shirts is getting nicer. So very, very cool. Awesome 13 Ghosts shirt. Sweet. So we'll set that aside. Ooh, I just saw the pin. So it looks like the pin for the month is a 2017 Pennywise pin. And that looks awesome. Wow, this is actually my first uh, 2017 Pennywise item. I know a lot of people were buying like the pops and stuff like that, and you guys know I don't like pops, so. This is the only thing I have from the new Pennywise. So very nice, that's awesome. Sweet evil clown. So we got that. Um, looks like we have a pack of Nightmare on Elm Street stickers. Are these vintage? Mm. It doesn't have the date. Usually I don't like to open up vintage packs like this, but I will open them now. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not sure the date of these. They look a little older. So yeah, we just have a bunch of different Nightmare on Elm Street stickers here. You guys can see. Oh, I'm like folding them up. So very cool. So we got a pack of stickers. Can't have enough of those. Um, up next is the Cryptocurium piece. So uh, this month, Fright Crate and Cryptocurium uh, did a mashup. Uh, so this is a piece that um, Jason McKittrick from Parcel of Terror and Cryptocurium did for Fright Crate. So let's turn it over and take a look. Oh my. That is awesome. Wow. And I talk about, if you guys see my other videos where I do for Parcel of Terror, you guys know I'm obsessed with Jason's work. I have a ton of his pieces and this one's amazing. Wow. So what we have here, i try to get that good as I can is it's almost like the cover art for Fright Night. Uh, Jason pretty much emulated that and just like kind of carved it in. But that is awesome. I love the blue wash on that. This looks really, really good. Awesome. Good job, uh, Jason. Uh, and it is a wall plaque, so it has a little hanger on the back. So this will definitely be joining the rest of my wall plaques from Jason in the horror room. So sweet, awesome piece. Nice. So we got that. Um, up next, we'll just do our piece for the month. As you guys know, me and Jay from Fright Crate own Zero Resin Co. So this was one of our pieces that we included in the box for everybody this month. Uh, we did an ash bust. Um, so I want to see this. Let's see. Ooh, it came out awesome. Really, really nice. I haven't seen it painted yet. Uh, uh, Jay and Sybil did all the painting for the for these for this month, 
and wow it looks really really good awesome so we have our deadite ash very very sweet it came out really really nice uh and stay tuned you guys because i will be doing variants of this i will be doing some glow in the dark variants of this bust and they will be on our website so sweet so we got that and i think we just have one more item maybe two one more item okay so it looks like we have a print for night of something strange i have actually not seen this movie yet uh people keep telling me to watch it i just haven't gotten around to it yet i'll probably watch it sometime this week but it looks like we have an autographed print let me just pull this out show it to you guys you can see the uh, signature down here in silver but very very cool i'll have to look at the spoiler sheet and see whose autograph this is again i have not seen this film yet so i'm not too familiar with the characters but i do hear this is an awesome film so awesome so we got that and that looks like it's everything for the box for this month um there's a contributor's card okay so the Fright Night wall plaque was Crypticurium. Cyril Resinko was our company. Uh, the shirt was designed by David Hutchinson and Jay. I'll get that to focus. So there's all the website information for all the contributors. And we'll take a look at the spoiler sheet. So you could have gotten, or everyone got an exclusive Fright Night wall plaque. This is featuring Jason McKittrick from Crypticurium. Uh, it's five inches tall and three and a half inches wide. Uh, exclusive Deadite Mini Ash from Co. Uh, it's a 4 inch, four inch bust. Uh, exclusive 13 Ghost t-shirt designed by David Hutchinson. Uh, let's see, exclusive Evil Clown pin at 2017, a 1.5 inch soft enamel double clutch pin. Uh, the Night of Something Strange autograph. Uh, who did it, or who was the person? Okay, Jonathan Straiton? Straiton? Uh, was the actor, I'm trying to see if it says the actor's name. Okay, I don't think it says the actor's name, so I'll have to look it up. And then there was also an extra you can get. You could either get a horror-themed temporary tattoo, or you can get uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street collectible sticker. So I did get the stickers. Uh, and then next month, again, it's sold, it's sold out. Uh, but the themes were Saul, Halloween, Night of the Demons, Killer Clowns, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Christine. Um, and I'll urge you guys, uh, the last box sold out in 12 hours. So as soon as Jay puts up a post on Facebook or on the um, one of the uh, Joe's group or Guild of Collectors, jump on that right away because it's getting increasingly more difficult to get a box. Uh, because it's just doing really well. Fright Crate is awesome, as you guys know. Uh, in my opinion, the number one horror box out there. So if you guys are interested, again, go to www.frightcrate.net and get yourself a, subscri a subscription. They also do sell some other things on the site as well, stuff that was in previous boxes. So if there's something in particular in particular that you're looking for, you might be, f be able to find it on the site as well. So I want to say thanks, guys, for tuning in to this uh, September 2017 unboxing of Fright Crate, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, thanks for watching my video. If you guys enjoyed this content and would like to see future episodes of Horror and Me, please subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to keep in contact with me to see more of my content, you can check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Just search Horror and Me. See you guys next time.